histidine is an essential amino acid and it has many uses. As a protein building block and a precursor for important biochemical products, it's involved in protecting the skin against UV radiation and reducing inflammation and oxidative stress. It's one of 20 amino acids and it makes up the protein in our body. These building blocks are generally classified as either non-essential or essential. Non-essential amino acids are those that the body can produce itself, while essential amino acids need to be acquired through the diet because the body can't make its own supply. Histidine is an essential amino acid. A long-term study demonstrated adults who consume a diet deficient in histidine over long periods of time might experience negative health effects such as reduced haemoglobin, which is the protein that carries oxygen in the red blood cells. Histidine is produced by the liver in small quantities, hence it needs to be consumed in the diet to maintain the necessary histidine levels. It's converted into a number of important substances such as histamine and carnosine. It's required for the growth and the repair of tissue, red blood cell production and protecting tissues from damage from radiation and heavy metals. It's especially necessary for the formation of myelin sheets, which are the layers surrounding the nerves that enable faster transmission of signals to the brain. In both humans and animal studies, histidine functioned for maintaining the normal levels of haemoglobin, the protein responsible for delivering oxygen from the lungs to the tissues in the body. Uricanic acid produced through histidine is a major absorber of ultraviolet radiation and this protects the skin cells from damage. Additionally, it's converted to histamine, a messenger molecule involved in immunity, digestion and sexual function. It's also a major component, along with beta-alanine, for carnosine, an important antioxidant that slows the progression of multiple degenerative diseases and reduces plaque buildup in the arteries. It might also help to improve muscle performance for high-intensity exercise. Histidine has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activity. It may protect the heart and lower blood pressure. It may lower blood sugar, help you lose weight, help with brain function, protect the skin and reduce blood clots. Brett Schneider's histidine tryptophan ketoglutarate solution, or HTK, is a histidine containing buffering solution and is routinely used to induce heart arrest during surgical procedures and to protect the heart muscle from low blood supply. Several clinical trials attest to its effectiveness to reduce the damage due to the low oxygen and it's not only in the heart but also in the kidneys. The solution is also used to preserve donor organs. Mutations resulting in increased histidine levels were associated with lower incidence of coronary heart disease in an observational study of over 1,100 African Americans. The histidine derivative carnosine improved exercise performance and quality of life in a clinical trial on 50 people with congestive heart failure. Damaged rat hearts due to restored blood supply after a stroke who were treated with histidine showed better recovery. The histidine presumably reduced the reactive oxygen species and helped to preserve the energy. In diabetic mice, supplementation with carnosine reduced blood fat levels and plaque buildup in the arteries. In a study on 92 people with heart disease, dietary histidine was associated with low blood pressure, especially at the higher doses. In a study in rats with elevated blood pressure, oral histidine supplementation significantly reduced it. Similarly, carnosine reduced blood pressure in obese rats. In a study involving 92 obese women with a histidine deficiency, supplementing with the amino acid over three months reduced the oxidative stress. Another study on over 400 women found an association between low histidine levels and oxidative stress. Additionally, obese women had worse antioxidant status, possibly due to their abnormal histidine and arginine metabolism. In two studies on over 500 women, histidine supplementation led to reduced inflammation by blocking the production of inflammatory cytokines. In a clinical trial on 92 obese women with metabolic syndrome, histidine supplementation at 4 grams a day for 3 months significantly decreased their insulin resistance. 
an observational study on 88 obese people associated higher dietary histidine with lower fasting blood glucose levels and it increased insulin sensitivity. In mice, supplementation with histidine and carnosine helped to prevent diabetic complications. In a clinical trial on 20 people with chronic fatigue and sleep disturbances, Supplementation with histidine for two weeks improved attention, memory and clarity of thinking while reducing fatigue. In another trial on 25 Gulf War veterans, carnosine treatment improved cognitive function. In rats, histidine supplement improved short-term memory and it protected the brain from damage caused by reduced oxygen supply or cerebral ischemia. An observational study on 88 obese people associated higher dietary histidine with reduced body mass index, waist circumference and blood pressure. Histidine is converted to histamine in the brain. In rats, histidine supplementation reduced their feeding behaviour through its conversion to histamine. In another study, histidine supplementation reduced not only the feeding but also the fat accumulation. However, histidine was ineffective as an appetite suppressant in an old clinical trial. Histidine is a precursor of uracanic acid, a substance that builds up in the skin and it protects and absorbs from UV radiation. By doing this, it acts as a natural sunscreen and it can protect the DNA from sunlight damage. In a clinical trial on 24 people with eczema, supplementation with histidine for four weeks significantly reduced the disease severity and 39% of the patients reported feeling much better. Two studies in mice found increased uracanic acid levels on the skin after histidine supplementation resulted in increased protection from UV radiation. In a clinical trial on 18 people with increased formation of blood clots or spontaneous platelet aggregation supplementation with histidine for a week prevented blood clots. The effect was probably mediated by the action of arachidonic acid metabolites. Eye drops with N-acetylcarnosine, a dipeptide composed of histidine and beta-alanine, are often advertised to improve cataracts without the need for surgery. However, a meta-analysis failed to find sufficient evidence to back up this claim. Histidine supplementation did prevent the development of cataracts in salmon. Wilson's disease is a rare genetic disease and it's caused by excessive copper buildup in the organs, particularly in the liver. In a study in rats, a diet that contains excess histidine flushed the excess of the liver copper out with the urine. In rats, histidine injections reduced the severity of seizures. The authors believe the effect was due to the role of histidine as a precursor to histamine, a seizure inhibitor. Since histidine is an essential amino acid, its deficiency can cause several detrimental effects. The main symptoms include dry or scaly skin lesions, anemia, poor healing and general feelings of being unwell. In a study on 325 people with chronic kidney disease, low blood levels of histidine were associated with inflammation, oxidative stress and increased mortality. Two additional studies on over 300 obese women associated low histidine levels with obesity, increased inflammation and oxidative stress. Four healthy adults consumed a histidine-free diet for 48 days and their haemoglobin and other protein levels were monitored an 11% decrease in haemoglobin levels, possibly leading to anemia, was observed over time with the histidine depletion. A clinical trial on 17 people found histidine depletion affected the response process. In a study on 18 people with wounds, 16 had significantly lower histidine levels. A deficiency in histidine might weaken the skin, leading to larger wounds. A deficiency of histidine in the diet of mice caused anxiety-like behaviour, possibly due to the low histamine levels in their brain. High amounts of histidine in the body might result in unwanted side effects. Excess histidine consumption greater than 32 grams per day has been reported to cause headaches, weakness, fatigue, nausea, anorexia, depression and memory failure. In a study on 11 people who are diagnosed with schizophrenia, 
the blood histidine levels were above the average. Although this is not necessarily a side effect, chronic histidine levels being high, leading to high histamine levels, have detrimental effects on the brain. In rats, excess dietary histidine led to copper deficiency, high cholesterol, liver enlargement and appetite suppression. The main cause of a histidine deficiency is not consuming enough histidine in the diet, since the body cannot produce enough of it on its own. Vitamin B9, folate or folic acid deficiency, also causes the body to lose histidine through urination. So maintaining normal levels of folate in the body is important for preventing histidine deficiency. There's a number of foods that contain high amounts of histidine and they might help to prevent low histidine levels. These include protein-based foods such as eggs, beef, chicken, pork and fish. Additional histidine-rich food includes soybeans, wheat, maize, quinoa and rice. Alternatively, histidine supplementations are also commercially available. The World Health Organization estimates the recommended intake of histidine is 8 to 12 milligrams per kg body weight per day in adults. Because histidine supplements are not approved by the FDA for any condition, there's no official dose. Users and supplement manufacturers have established unofficial doses based on trial and error. This should always be discussed with your doctor. Doses of up to 4 grams per day have caused no adverse effects in clinical trials. For more on herbs, supplements and natural treatment plans, check out my website.